ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. How are you? As always, lovely sunny morning. Um, so hopefully you're going to have a, a nice day. I hope you're keeping well, looking after yourself and um, still trying to keep your distance as best you can. And uh, you'll be seeing more people now and most things are all open. So hopefully for those of you who are having a difficult time, you'll feel as if it's a little bit, bit more back to normal, but always keep in your head that it's not normal and you know, keep your distance as best you can when you can. All right, and I'll keep you updated as to what's happening. Obviously, we're going to be the last in the batch. Um, it depends on the uh, churches for when they open, given that I use their halls. So um, I'll let you know anyway, but we shall be adhering to as much safety as we can when we're back. All right, so uh, stretch class this morning, folks, feeling a little bit tight and doing a lot of... Um, Tidying and getting the decking done and carrying heavy stuff. So I feel a bit tight this morning. So we're going to do a good deep stretch, okay? So be careful. Anything that's not comfortable for you, remember you don't have to do it. Rest down if you need to. Try to ease yourself into your stretches rather than just go full force at it because once you pull the muscle, it's very difficult to um, unpull it and it can take a while for that to settle. So be careful, um, and as I said, rest down when you need to. If you're working with any underlying aches or pains, ladies and gentlemen, or any prior issues, be careful, listen to your own body first and foremost always. And um, it doesn't necessarily mean you can't do anything, but just be careful, and if your body sort of says to you no, then you don't do it, all right? So feet nice and wide. This morning, knees are soft, we're going to set our posture, so head nice and tall, shoulders relaxed, ribs connected to the hips, and a nice big deep breath in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Remembering always, ladies and gentlemen, to try and keep an awareness of your pelvic floor muscles. So that's this area here, your core, your transverse abdominis. Breathe in, breathe out. Try not to let your work take the strain. And a good way of always remembering that, as always, and as I've told you a million times before, is to try and make sure that your ribs stay connected to your hips. Any movement where your ribs flare forward will put pressure on your back if you're not engaging your core. One more time. And now we're just going to point the toes out in a 45 degree angle. We're just going to bend the knees. And when we bend the knees, I want you to push your bum back. Shoulders down, ribs connected. Breathing in, remember through your nose, out through your mouth. Just make sure that you don't hold your breath. So the bum starts to go back a little bit further and we can feel the stretch on the inside of the adductor muscles from the inside of your knee up towards your groin. So remember, rather than pushing the knees over the front of the toes, we want to push the bum back. Exhale, breathe in. Breathe out. Just remembering to inhale through your nose and out through your mouth. Just connects the brain to your breathing pattern so you're more aware of whether you've inhaled or exhaled. Whereas if you just breathe without thinking, it doesn't give you the same focus mentally to your body. Two to go. Now we're just going to push back, turn your toes forward this time and bend the knees. You should feel a nice stretch up here at the top of the outer glutes. A little bit into the top of the thighs, maybe into the back of your buttocks. Remember the head is higher than the hips, so you're not flat in the back like that. The body weight is slightly in the heels of the feet. We're just going to slide that right leg further out and transfer our weight to the side. We're pulling away from a long left leg. The toes are forward on both feet. The right knee is above the ankle. Shoulders are relaxed. You're not humping around your upper shoulder line. Now just stretch that arm up to the ceiling, opening the chest, dropping the shoulders away from the neck. And as you drop that fingertip towards the toe, exhale, swoop it out to me and up. Breathe in. And you should feel your left shoulder just rotating backwards and down slightly into your back. Don't swing that hand too far backwards. Exhale. Breathe in. 
exhale. Breathe in. Three to go. Exhale. Inhale. Two to go. You'll be feeling that in the muscles in your buttock and your thighs on your right leg. Also, last one. Breathe out and breathe in. Transfer across. Inhale. Exhale up. Breathe in down. So we're not lifting our body up as we bring the arm up. We're just opening the chest out to me, drawing that right shoulder back. Exhale. I was reading an article recently where it said that, uh, well, obviously you know how I always push the importance of nice deep stretches if possible. Light, if you can't do heavy. Um, <clears throat> and the fact that it keeps the body uh, nicely flexible, muscles nicely lengthened, but also works very well on keeping elasticity in the veins, keeping them a little bit more lengthened and stretched out, true to go, which is always important. Last one. And gently relax. Rotate to centre. Palms of the hands on the floor, tuck your chin in towards your chest. And gently turn your toes forward to me if they weren't already. Now just relax your shoulders, soften your elbows and just let your arms drop a little bit closer towards the floor and you should be able to feel that stretch right from the back of your knee all the way up towards the back of your bum and then you can gauge that for yourself by either straightening the arm a little bit, which will lift the body and alleviate too much of a stretch on the back of the legs. So inhale through your nose. <clears throat> Remember to focus on your breath, ladies and gentlemen. Focus on what you feel in your legs. Increase the stretch by softening the elbow so the head goes a little bit towards the floor. Still keep some of the weight back in the heels so you can feel that stretch up the back of your Achilles tendon. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, now soften the knees, pull up a little bit on the tummy, so belly button lifted towards your spine, and slowly roll the spine back up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Lovely. Walk the heels and the toes in. Now, feet are hip distance, shoulders nice and relaxed. We're going to take a nice in breath. Be careful with your balance. If you need a chair or a wall to lean on, then do so. We're going to lift the right leg. Hands underneath. Okay? Just because people have a tendency without thinking, it's not a fault to bring their hands to the front of their kneecaps. So just lift. Now focus on your centering and your balance, as if your head is tied to the ceiling. The left knee is soft, the shoulders are down, the elbows are bent, and breathe in, release. Exhale, sail it. Yeah, try saying that. Exhale, same leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now the key to that is not to bring your body weight down into that foot again if you can, otherwise you just start fighting with that whole movement. Center, slight lift, pubic bone to waist. Exhale up, breathe in down. Breathe out, lift, elbows are bent, shoulders down. Breathe in, exhale, inhale. Three to go. Exhale up. Inhale down. Breathe out. Lift. Inhale lower. Soft left knee. Nice long spine. Head to the ceiling. Was that the last one? I've lost count. Okay, we'll lift again. Exhale. Hold. Three, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Love it. Feet have distance. Shoulders relaxed. Couple of seconds, and that just brings the body back into your postural alignment. Soft support knee always, because if you lock it out, sometimes you feel as if it gives you more help with your balance, but it doesn't. Exhale, lift, left leg, knee comes up. And 
breathe in lower. Exhale up. Inhale down. Breathe out lift. Inhale down. Exhale, ladies and gentlemen. Have you been watching much Netflix and all those other things on the telly? Or maybe you're very busy, too much to do. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Four to go. Breathe out. Head to hold. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Soft support knee, shoulders relaxed. Head to the ceiling. Spine nicely left. And two more. Could have been just one, but we'll do two. Inhale. Exhale, big out breath. And then just breathe in again. Always remember, try not to do that. And relax. Now, heels and toes out. I want you to squeeze your buttocks together. So you're lengthening down the inside of the legs. Press the heels into the floor. Keep the bum tight. Left arm up. Exhale. Allow the right hand just to slide down the front of the thigh because of your movement, not because you shove it down. Breathe in. Exhale, right arm up first. And then breathe out, lifting that waistline. Inhale back. Exhale, keeping that squeeze on the buttocks. Slight awareness of the core. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out, lengthening those legs. Pressing the heels into the floor. Lifting the body up towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Let's do eight a little bit faster. Exhale. Inhale. Breathe out. Breathe in. And six. And five. You're not used to me talking so nice and gently. Three to go. Trying to keep the hip tall so you're not pushing it off side. Two to go. <clears throat> Last one. Lovely. And gently softening the legs. Moving the feet, the heels, so they're just hip distance. We're just going to press up onto the tips of the toes. So you're not using any weight, just the rise of the heel towards the ceiling. Shoulders down. Breathe out. Breathe in. Now we're going to lift. Exhale. Inhale. Try and grip the floor with the toes. Tall to the ceiling. Breathe out, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Breathe out, lift. Inhale. Now we're going to do eight a little bit faster. You can keep them slow if you wish. So seven. And six. Try and make them smooth. Think of the fluidity and movement. So rather than boom, boom, you want to flow. And four. And three. And two, and one, and down. We're going to turn the toes towards themselves, but with a little space, about four or five inches. Exhale up. Now, you try not to push your body weight to me. Try and think of your head attached to the ceiling above you and press up. Exhale, lift, and down. And think about your foot movement. When you push your toes into the floor, try not to roll your, the front of your ankle forward. Just lift. So you can feel that in your calf muscles. Exhale. Breathe in. And lift. Eight. And down. And seven. And lower. And six. And down. And five. Four to go. And three. And two. Calf muscles were warming up, can you feel? One. Let's do eight a little bit faster. Why? Because we can. And if you can't, then do four slow. Lift. Seven. Smooth, remember. Five. Four. Three. Two. Are your toes still turned in? One. And relax. Lovely. Just shake those legs out if you feel a little bit tight. Now I want you to step your right foot forward towards me. Left foot back a little bit. We're going to take a nice in breath. Be very careful with your balance. Chair if you need to. 
hand to the wall if you wish. Nice breath in, drop the shoulders, ribs down in the midsection, remember hips are level. You're going to exhale, push your bum backwards. Keep the back flat at this point and then slowly down towards that big toe. Now you can feel that stretch just up the back of the ankle and towards the calf muscle. Breathe in, lift, pushing into that right foot. Exhale back a little bit into the heel of the left foot. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Breathe out, slowly forward, take your time, be careful with your balance. Inhale. <clears throat> so when you're coming back up, push into the front foot. As you're coming out and over, aware of your weight distributed between both feet. A little bit of weight back now into the back heel of the foot, into the back foot. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Breathe in. Two to go. And you should just feel that muscle lengthening out for you so you can get a little bit uh, lower to the floor. Remember, try not to force into your stretches. <clears throat> Inhale up. Last one. Exhale. And hold the stretch. Now, once you feel the stretch start to come up into the calf muscle, Shoulders relax, elbows soft. You can rest your hands on the front of your foot, your ankle, your shin. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale. <sighs> through the mouth. Now soften the front knee a little bit. Separate your hands. One hand to the right side, one hand to the left side. And push into that foot and roll up. Lovely. So up feet. Remember feet are hip distance. Shoulders relaxed. So at the minute we feel the pressure in the back heel. Inhale. Shoulders down, ribs connected, hips are level. Gently lengthen the legs. Flat over the floor so the head is between the upper arms. The bum is moving backwards. Now you'll feel the weight transfer slightly into the front foot. Focus on the heel also on the back foot. Inhale, lift to me. Don't force anything. Exhale. Remember always, ladies and gentlemen, if you run out of breath, you just breathe in and out again. Inhale up. Exhale. Careful with your balance now. Breathe in. Breathe out. Chin to chest, feeling the stretch up the back of the calf muscle. Maybe up above the knee towards the hamstring into the bum. Exhale. Breathe in. We'll do three more. Ribs down. Exhale. Lift out and over that thigh. Chin tucked in. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Two to go. Breathe in. Exhale. Toes are forward on both feet. Chin tucked in towards the chest. Shoulders relax. Now again, focus on the back heel also. Separate the hands, bend the left knee. Lovely, shoulders nice and relaxed. Chin tucked in towards the chest. Push into that forward foot and slowly lift back. Beautiful, lovely. Now ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> as we did our knee lift to the front, we're going to just going to tap the right toe on a 45 degree angle out from your hip. Hand against the wall on a chair if you wish. And exhale, lift out to the side. Breathe in, down. Breathe out. Sometimes holding your arm out like that helps with your balance. Breathe in. We'll do six. <sighs> Inhale. Now soft support knee, remember the head is to the ceiling, shoulders relaxed, right elbow soft, inhale, four to go, exhale up, breathe in, try and keep the front of your thigh tight towards your body, soft holding elbow, two to go, breathe in, last one, Ooh, I'm trying not to do that obviously. And this won't be doctored or reset, so it's just, remember, Caroline's Fitness as it is. So, lovely. <clears throat> Left 
toe out to the side, soft knee, nice breath in, hand here on your chair against the wall or exhale. Breathe in lower, breathe out, inhale, exhale. See I'm standing on my left leg even although here it looks like the right. So always a little bit more dodgy on the left hand side. Exhale. Breathe in down. Four to go. Now don't let your right knee lock out. A little bit soft. Not bent. Just two to go. Exhale. Inhale down. One more. Lovely. Now feet nice and wide. We're just going to bend the knees, hold them above the ankles, push the bum back a little bit for an hour, fingertips to the floor, and just lean your legs into the back of your elbows. So the hands are on the floor, chin towards the chest, neck nice and long, back flat, and we're breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth, and you're feeling that stretch up the inside of your adductor muscles. Keeping the back flat so we're not overusing the back muscles in the wrong way. Neck aligned, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Whoa, that's a lovely tight stretch on the inside of the thighs. Now we're going to slowly rotate round. And we've got our right leg out in front of us. Now remember, any issues with your knees, ladies and gentlemen, you just put a pillow underneath your knees or underneath your feet or wherever. So the back knee is below the hip. We're going to lean into that leg a little bit. But as you lean in, you don't want your knee over your toe. So exhale. Dropping the hips. Breathe in. Breathe out. So rather than forcing through the kneecap and pushing your leg forward that way, you're emphasizing dropping your hip down. So you can feel that stretch from the hip flexor down the front of the back thigh. Inhale, exhale. When you push back, don't lock out your knee. Breathe in, exhale. Inhale, breathe out four. Inhale, three, two to go. Last one, and ideally we want that knee directly below, uh, above the ankle. Hold the stretch. Now I want you to take your arm, same side, all the way up as the leg that's behind you, and just tip a little bit towards your front leg. Inhale, so you're lifting out to the side of your forward leg, feeling that stretch from your armpit all the way down to the back hip on the left side. Inhale, exhale one more time. Shoulders nice and relaxed and breathe in back. Now we're just gonna slowly lift the toes of your forward foot, right foot, whatever leg you have forward. I'm gonna push the bum back and breathe in through the nose out through the mouth, shoulders nice and relaxed. Just feeling that stretch up the back of the hamstring on your forward leg. Elbows soft, hands either side. Now, if you can, bring that front foot forward towards you and sit back towards the heel on your back foot, left foot, or whatever foot it is. Now, nice in breath, elbows are soft. It's very warm in here, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot to open the windows. Again, reach for the toe with the right hand if you can. If not, doesn't matter. If your knees or your hips won't allow you to sit in that position, well then you continue to stay in this one. And you can still feel that stretch, you just emphasize pushing the bum back a little bit and drawing away from that front heel. Inhale through the nose, we're gonna soften the forward knee. I'm gonna roll forward. Lovely. Now, hands either side of the front foot, we're going to stretch the back leg out so the front knee is still above the front ankle. Toes of the left foot out behind you 
knee off the floor. Now we heel feel this in the um, hamstring on the forward leg, the quadricep on the back leg or your thighs. Bring your uh, right hand to the inside of your right foot. Lovely. Now I want you to keep your palms on the floor and bend the elbows a little bit so your right elbow and your right shoulder come closer towards that knee on the right leg. Breathe in through the nose, drop the back knee, and push back a little bit and rotate. Lovely. And place our pillow or towel underneath the other leg if we need it. And we come up. So shoulders nice and relaxed, hips are level. We're going to inhale and forward. Knee above the ankle on the left leg. Feeling the stretch here. Exhale, drop down, remember, rather than pushing forward over your knee. So don't ram your body weight over like that, ladies and gentlemen. Foot below the knee, drop the hip. Inhale up. Exhale. Feeling that stretch from the left hip flexor all the way down. Or it'll be your right hip flexor. Exhale. Shoulders relaxed, inhale up, exhale, breathe in, push back a little bit, lengthen that leg, don't lock the knee out, and down with the hips, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, two to go, exhale, push the hip down, breathe in, lift, breathe out, now hold this one, take your <coughs> right arm up, stretch it gently away towards the outside of your left leg, inhale back, exhale up, and over dropping the hip, feeling the stretch, <coughs> excuse me ladies and gentlemen, I've got a little bit of guitar today, I was eating yogurt, Told you before, it always gives you a lot more goo goo in your chest. So if you do <coughs> suffer with mucus, as they rightly call it, just ease back a little bit on cheese and dairy products if you can. Lovely. And gently back. My nice in breath. We're just going to bring that foot back a little bit. And we're going to lean forward and hold that stretch. One hand either side, tuck the toes of the back foot under, and just left knee above the left ankle, right leg back, feeling that stretch, front uh, <coughs> hamstring, quadricep on the back leg, one hand either side of the front foot. Now gently bring your left hand to the inside of your foot, Bend the elbows so that the shoulder on the left side is underneath or close to the crease of the elbow on that same side. Uh, the knee, the knee, the knee, the knee. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Soft elbows. Drop the back leg. Push back. Extending that leg, feeling the stretch. Now slowly slide back towards the bum if we can, towards the heel. Breathing in through the nose, remember to stay up if you can't. I know I've done this out of sequence, but never mind. Elbow soft, chin towards your chest. Breathing in through the nose, feeling that up the back of the calf muscle. Hand here, shin, thigh, don't stick it on your knee. And then that knee. And pull forward and rotate right. Lovely. Now, pillow or towel if you need it, remember. Bend me on the floor. Right knee above the right ankle. We're going to inhale, lift. Slowly squeeze the buttock on the left side. Drop the shoulders down towards the back of the hips. 
nice in breath, slight lift on the tummy muscles, so drawing up from the pubic bone towards the waist. Hold still. Now turn that body. So left hand goes to the outside of the right leg, right hand goes to the back of the right hip, lifting upwards and rotating. Shoulders are down, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose. So drop that right shoulder into the back, slight lift on the tummy, in, exhale. We know the breathing is a little bit restricted here because of the impingement down on the lung on the right side, but still can continue to deep breathe. Exhale and release. Lovely. Just bend that knee. Again, wherever you need it, maybe you don't, and if so, fantastic. Left foot forward, left knee above the left ankle. Breathing in. Now don't use the toes of your right foot. So make sure the front of your foot on your back leg is on the floor if possible. Arms up, breathe in. Shoulders down, keep the ribs connected at this point. Now exhale, squeeze the buttock on the right side and just move the shoulders back over the hips rather than focusing on flaring your ribs forward to me. Keep the shoulders away from the neck. Exhale. Breathe in. Now remember to squeeze that buttock. You should feel that stretch. Hip flexor down to the front edge of the thigh, into the buttocks. Breathe in. Exhale, slight lift on the tummy muscles. Shoulders down and center. Exhale, rotate. Right hand outside the left knee. Now remember you're not pulling your leg. You're keeping your leg as a, a sense of resistance against that right hand. Left hand to the back of the hip. Open the chest, drop the back shoulder, head in the center of the shoulder line. Oh, lovely stretch across the diagonal line of the spine. Breathe in or the back. Exhale. In through the nose. Exhale. You don't have to breathe as deep as that or even fall over like that. But remember, don't allow your leg to drift in like that. Push it back against your pressing hand. Drop the back shoulder to feel that stretch properly and don't allow your back shoulder to come towards this one. <coughs> Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Nice big deep breath in. And relax. Lovely. I want you to come forward into your hands. Again, use your pillow or towel if you need it. I'll just stick it underneath there because I can. Extend your right leg out behind you. Toes tucked up and underneath. Ooh. Up and underneath your right foot. And push back through the heel. Now don't ram into your arms because what that does is it makes you pull your shoulders up around your neck. Your posture up around your upper back is not correct. So toes underneath the ankle. Soft elbows, lean your body weight back towards that back heel, but try not to allow it to change your postural alignment of your neck and shoulders. And breathe in through the nose. Focus on that stretch area. It should feel a little bit looser the longer you feel it or hold it. And breathe in. Now bend that knee, bring it up, slide it out. Look at your foot and make sure the instep of your foot is down the side of your foot is down on the floor. Slide back towards that foot if you can, the, the, the foot behind you. And you should feel your stretch up the inside of the thigh. Elbows are soft, breathe in through the nose. Exhale, come forward if you can. Again, if your knees and hips don't allow for that, you can sit up here, ladies and gentlemen, or you can just hold like this, okay? In fact, we shall all come up here. Lovely. Toes forward on that right foot. Knee below the hip. Shoulders relaxed and feeling that stretch up the inside of the adductor. Bend that knee, slide it in. Down in box position. Slide your left foot out behind you. 
toes underneath the ankles, press the body weight back from the hips towards the heels, soft elbows, shoulders relaxed, chin to chest, neck in line, breathing in through the nose and if and when you feel that calf muscles, muscle is a little bit more lengthened, you can push on back a little bit more. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Lovely. Slowly draw that knee in. Slide the foot out to the side. Now always remember that your foot is in line with your hip. It's not in front of you and it's definitely not behind you. So when you go to move back, bring it back in line with you. Press the side of the foot down, the side of your instep into the floor. Again, down if you can, in through the nose. Keep the body weight back slightly towards the heel of the right leg. And you can feel that stretch up the inside. In through the nose, out through the mouth. We're going to slowly put our palms down and we're going to roll forward a little bit and lift. Head to the ceiling, knee below the hip, foot, look at it, make sure it's in line, especially the heel. And you can just feel that round the top of the hip there, down the inside of the thigh. Again, you could always soften that a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, by just softening that knee a little bit more. Remember, it's not locked out. gently soften that knee, sit back if you can and slide that leg in or slide it in without sitting back. Now, we're going to rotate over the side. So pillow or towel underneath any knee that you need it under. Bring your right leg right up in front and bend your back leg. Now, you don't have to do anything else except flex your foot so the sole of your foot is looking at the ceiling. So the toes are pulled down towards the ankle, okay? Those of you that can, take your outside hand. So the hand that's furthest away from me and bring it in towards the center. Rotate by lifting the chest, softening the elbow, and breathing in through the nose. Now, top shoulder, pull it down slightly into the back. Press the hip flexor downwards towards the floor and that will give you um, an increase in that stretch. Remember, you never pull your foot closer to your bum. Not with me, okay? Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Remember, pressing the hip downwards towards the floor to increase that stretch and release. Lovely. We're going to slide that knee in, rotate that round to the other side. So back leg comes forward, stretch that uh, front leg to me out. Just bend the knee. Now again, if you can't do this for restrictive move uh, issues, lie down on your belly and just bend one leg. You don't need to hold it, but if, you, if you're holding it, then the back of your sock, the back of your trouser leg, make sure your hip is flat to the floor. Don't pull your foot into your bum. Keep your holding elbow always soft. Without holding anything, lie on the floor, bend the knee, and then just flex the foot. And you can feel that still stretch of those muscles. So open the chest out to me if you're holding your foot. Make sure you're in a comfortable position and then gently. Now, some people do this, okay? I think it encourages you to pull on your toes. So flex your foot, that way you can hold your ankle, your trouser leg, and soften the elbow. Keep the hips as forward as you can and then lift that shoulder and open out the chest towards me. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again, increase the stretch a little bit by pushing your hip flexor area downwards to the floor. Don't hold your breath. 
You were doing that, weren't you? Yes, you were. Now let that go nice and gently. And slowly rotate right. Beautiful. Now we're going to inhale through the nose. We're just going to bring those elbows in. Hands to the back of the head. Open up the elbows. Feeling the chest open out towards me. Squeezing the back of the shoulder blades in towards the midline. Exhale. Left elbow goes down to the floor. Right elbow to the ceiling. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time each side. Breathe out. Keep the head in the centre of the shoulder line. Keep the hips just above the heels. And remember, if you can't sit back, here it is in this position where you can stand up. Nice in-breath. Gently release. Shoulder roll. Now, take your right shoulder away from me. Grab your bum or your thigh and slowly turn your head towards your left hand side. Now, don't drop your ear backwards. Keep that right ear lifted away from the shoulder. Inhale, centre. Grab the cheek of your bum just at the base as it hits the thigh. Roll your left shoulder away from me. Head in the middle, middle of the leg. Turn it right. Shoulders down. Breathe in through the nose, feeling the stretch right down the side of the neck. Inhale, centre. And release. Palms to the floor. Feet wide. Slowly push back. Downward stretch. Chin towards your chest. Now palms on the floor or towards wherever is comfortable for you. Body weight back a little bit into the heels of the feet, ladies and gentlemen. Breathing in through the nose, soft elbows, chin to chest, top of the head facing the floor if possible. Remember, you can rest on your thighs if you have any issues with coming too far. Don't force yourself into the stretch. Now, breathe in. Now, gently exhale down a little bit with the body. Feeling that increase in the stretch in the back of the legs, calf muscles and hamstrings. Slowly soften the knees and gently roll the spine back up. And we're going to try for 20 jacks. Now, here's a half jack. Okay, so you can do 20 of those. Okay, and we're going to soften our knees. Nice end breath. You can just march on the spot if you prefer. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's try 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, soft knees, 3, 2, 1, and well done. March. Good work, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourselves a big clap. Well done. Hope you enjoyed that. And look after yourself. Remember, keep your space, keep your distance, keep your noggin switched on. Miss you lots. And see you soon. Bye bye.